Connecticut women begin what they hope is a run to title number 12 on Saturday. Sue Bird was a part of two Husky championship teams, and those memories were just part of the conversation when the Christ the King grad sat down with Michelle Yu at one of the most famous restaurants in New York City. Here's another episode of Athletic Appetites. Hey, I'm Michelle Yu, and today's Athletic Appetites, I'm here at the famed Russian Tea Room, and I'm going to make some Russian cuisine with basketball superstar Sue Bird, who spent 10 years in Russia. So, Sue, you know a lot about Russian eats. I do, I do. It's, it's delicious food, um, but one thing I also know, it takes a lot of prep, so something tells me we need to go. Well, we got to go to the kitchen. All right, I'm in the kitchen now at the Russian Tea Room with Sue, and also head chef here, Mark Teixeira. What's on the menu, chef? Well, we're going to be cooking three of our signature dishes. Uh, one is the borscht, uh, one is the beef stroganoff, and we're also going to be stuffing chicken Kiev. In our borscht, we have uh, onions, carrots, celery, we have cabbage, beets, and bacon. And we also finish it with a little bit of beet juice. You've won so many Russian national championships. You've also won four gold medals. You've also won a couple of WNBA championships. When do you feel you're going to hang it up? You know, as long as I enjoy it, and, and really more than anything at 37, as long as my body can keep doing it, then I'm going to keep doing it. We started with a little bit of bacon, adds a little smokiness to the dish. Bacon's the exception to all the rules. I have a friend who's a bacon Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> so am I. So you've traveled all around the world. What's your favorite city to eat? Um, any city, city in Italy. Whether it's pizza, pasta, you know, the wine, everything. Well, your coach, old coach, Gino yeah. Oriema, he likes the culinary world as well. He yeah. does his own wine and yeah. he has his own tomato sauce. He'll give you wine, he'll give you sauce, that kind of stuff. Um, so I've tried it all. It's good, it's good. Hope the sauce. Don't let him take credit. That's his mom's sauce. How do you think your playing time at UConn has prepped you till this day? Um, I mean, it's pretty much the backbone, I think, of my career. Everything I've learned, both on and off the court, it's really what was established in those early years by them that is, again, helps up the stage for myself. How would you sum up Gino Oriema? <laughs> um, I mean, who can sum him up, you know? As a player, you kind of hate him, I'm not going to lie. If, if the players say they don't, they're, they are lying. There's, there's, I mean, we all go back to our dorm, dorm room and like MF him until, you, <laughs> until the sun comes up. Of all the accolades that you've had, which is most special to you? The, the memories that stick out are like how we partied after, you know, or maybe it was the bus ride to the championship game, you know, what happened. You know, it's like it's all those kinds of memories that stick out. Well, this is memorable as well. We're going to now have the borscht uh, cooking. Should we move on to the next? Yeah, let's go to the shirt rest. Breeze, uh, boneless short rib. Is that red wine? With a little bit of red wine. Yeah, it's like so good. Thanksgiving with like red wine poured on top. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Can't go wrong. <laughs> Chef, we've got the chicken Kiev. So basically, you're gonna take your chicken breast. You have your fillet here. You're gonna take that off. I would say the things that like my lifelines are chicken, sweet potato, avocado. That's, I'm like, thank God those are all healthy. I know you've been dating Megan Rapino. Yeah. Do you guys cook together? Yeah, we cook all the time. Um, it's really nice dating another athlete because we're kind of on the same, the same page with that stuff. All right, let's get back to the chicken here. All right, so we're gonna lay our chicken out like that. You take butter. I hope then, this um, is your cheat day. Yeah, so. absolutely. We, yeah, we add uh, dill, chives, parsley, lemon That's zest, good. orange zest to it. So then we're gonna take our filet here that we pounded out, and you're gonna put it on top. Look at you going ahead, Sue. You're gonna flip that one over, and then we're gonna just gently roll it like that. Ah, perfect, yeah. Why do you do everything so perfectly? <laughs> I was just literally copying You're good here. at everything. <laughs> and then we flour, egg, and panko on top of it, and then we fry it for about 20 minutes. So here's all your hard work. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Look how Those. colorful and beautiful this looks. All right, so we have the borscht, and we have a little bit of sour cream to mix in. Enjoy. All right, before we get going with the borscht, you put a little sour cream, stir oh. it up. If you don't like sour cream, no need. You can eat it without. No, I'm an adventurous but, eater. Oh my god, I haven't had this in so long. Oh, tasty. So did you have very adventurous teammates to eat with? Um, yeah. Yeah, most of my, I played in Russia for 10 years, and seven of those years, I was with Diana Tarasi, so 
Yeah, she pretty much eats anything. She's vegan now, which is a lot more boring for me, but um, back then, yeah, we would eat everything. Who were some of the big eaters that you played with? <laughs> You're calling um, them out, but. Oh man, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. Swing Cash has an interesting palate, you know? It'll go from, you know, just your traditional stuff, like, you know, regular stuff, like chicken, whatever, to then like, you know, with a side of Skittles, or Swedish Fish is really her, one of her favorite things. Oh, let me cut into the stroganoff so we can yeah. try that. Cheers, Sue. Cheers. Mmm, tender. Mm. All right, here's the chicken Kiev. What was Russian nightlife like? <laughs> um, it's good. I mean, there were many a night where we would leave and it was like the sun was up and you were like, oh my God, was I just in there for that long? So you but partied hard in Russia? Um, I partied with the Russians. Appropriate partying, as I like to call it. Very well said. <laughs> Speaking of partying, look what is coming over to the table. Oh, man. Are we, we going to handle timing. this? So this is Jewel Russia Wild Berry. It's a bilberry infused vodka. Now, do we chug this? Is this a shot? Um, how, so, how does this work? Yeah, so I actually learned that the hard way. You know, like I said, you get that shot glass. And so we all had these shot glasses out, and, you know, the owner stood up and, and you know, gave some sort of cheers speech, and everyone, oh, Nazarovia. And I was like, boom, because that's what we do, right? Yeah. Like, I have a shot glass, I'm shooting it. Then somebody else, like five minutes later, stood up, gave this speech. I was like, boom. By like the fourth one, I was like, there's no way. And then I realized you can, in the, in the toast sense, you can just sip. So this is what I have to say about my first Russian food experience. OK. Nazarovia. Ah, Nazarovia. There you go. You got to look in the eye, though. OK. Nazarovia. Nazarovia. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, Sue. You know, I may be working, but this is round two for me and Sue. Nazarovia. Nazarovia. Got her. <laughs> oh, that's well nice. Well done. Well done. <laughs>